Hey everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining in to this next video on the series that we're doing. Uh, in the previous videos we had set up the crouch and the walk uh, booleans, action inputs, etc. So what we're going to do in this video is we are going to quickly set up the sprint input action to get that going so that way in the next couple videos we can focus on setting up all the other functionality for it, right? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm in the third person character blueprint as from our last video. I'm going to go into the third person map. This is just something I like to do personally just to get a good visualization of like kind of where everything's at. So it look, looks cleaner to me. You could definitely come just be in the character blueprint and go at it from here. But for some reason, it doesn't save my last position in here unless you do it there. So if you ever close out of the third person character blueprint and then, you know, go back into it, it just doesn't seem to save your location. So that's why I'm always jumping back in here since this is where I've technically docked my content browser and this is where things are saved. So since we're in the content browser, go ahead and go to third person input and then actions and let us create a new input action called IA Sprint. There we go. So now we got that. So with this, now let's go ahead and go into our IMC defaults and we are going to create a new mapping and we are going to call it the IA Sprint here. And in here, what I like to do, I'm pretty sure everybody else does it too, but I'm gonna set my left shift button as my sprint buction, uh, my buction, my uh, button action. And in the triggers, what we are going to do is we're going to set up two triggers. We're going to do a pressed and we are going to do a released. So this is gonna be similar to as if you were to do the started and the completed on the input actions, um, you know, kind of like how we set up uh, the other stuff or not similar to how we set up the other stuff but maybe in your other projects you would set up uh, the like the sprint function and a stop sprinting function you know for your started and completed but since we are connecting everything toward on the triggered we just want things to be done once and then you know released when we're done with it so once you get those triggers set up go ahead and save your IMC default and hop back into the third person character template so then once in here, let's go ahead and call our IA Sprint. And we are now going to grab our, let me see, we, it should be the once to walk and once to sprint. Yeah, so we're going to be getting our set nodes instead of the get nodes for these because we want to set our sprint and we want to set our walk. So go ahead and alt left click and drag both of these out here so we get our set nodes so with the sprint we're going to have the sprint uh, set node first and we are going to connect the triggered onto that and then we are going to grab the action value and put it into our once to sprint so that way when we press and release it toggles the once to sprint once to walk stuff like that because you know since that's how we have the trigger i'm not quite sure because i haven't really tested it but it's also similar to how we have our aim i think you know once you press and release how it toggles untoggles if we didn't have the action value connected i think it still does that but again i haven't really tested it and again i'm only you know kind of what i mentioned in one of my earlier videos like a couple months into learning unreal engine so i haven't really researched that because it's not something that really has come to mind but that's the one thing that i imagine so now after that, let's go ahead and connect our <clears throat> once to sprint set node into our once to walk set node. And we're going to leave this as false. So in the last video, when I talked about our walking inputs and our actions, how we are basically inversing, you know, whatever our get nodes here into our branch and our whatever our value is in our once to walk and inversing that into here. So that's how we are able to oppose each other and then also oppose each other here because we have the basic values set here. And so then if we are pressing the sprint input action, we are setting that to true and then we are not wanting to walk. So, you know, if we are setting this to true, then when we go back into our walk, this will be true and then we inverse that to being fall uh, to be a false value and so since we have nothing on our false we do not walk or we don't do anything and then because this is true and we set this to false 
then of course that we are not walking you know and so that way when <clears throat> we do want to walk we basically will trigger this setting this back to not wanting to or to a false value or you know to a true value because like at this point when we do hit the sprint this will then go from being false inversing to true and then this is basically set to true because we are wanting to walk in here but then when we click this we set it to false just that way we stop walking and we get back to our normal run jogging speed so that's pretty much the that is pretty much it for this video this one it definitely is going to be relatively short just because we were just setting up a few just a couple more key pieces to our uh movement functionality so i'm going to copy and paste my comment code here in case y'all want to copy that down and have it set and set that back to group movement so boom there we go so now we have our building blocks here and i have it set into a funky fashion fashion but eh, whatever so there we go everybody we now have a lot of our basic things here so or at least more of the 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 basic stuff or the mandatory stuff that the game animation sample project has now so we have our strafing we have our crouching we have our aiming we have our walking and we have our ia sprint so now that we have that set up we will be able to go over now in the next video and setting up our gates and our um max speeds so the thing with the gate that we'll be doing in the next video is we will be creating an enumeration file there and then in our calculate max speed we'll be creating structs but there's a reason why i've created a struct in there that's different than the game animation sample project just because it looks nicer to me and makes more sense to me doing it that way but other than that that's going to be the next video is going to be going over our gates which i can imagine being a pretty long video because of what i'm going to have to go over so thank you everybody for joining in this video if you did like this please follow along in the next video then or join me in the next video and follow along that way we can get our different gates set up and a quick thing before i go uh you may have noticed that within our crouching our walking and our sprinting that we have not set up and real quick i'm gonna compile and save this that we have not set up any of the debuggings right so i know in the first few videos that we had set up our debuggings and we have an is aiming and stuff like that for our functionality and you've noticed that in these last few videos that we did not add any functionality to that and that is because we'll be getting our debugging functionality in the next video when we set up our gates so that way it's all there in one because i didn't want to add you know six more text blocks we would just want the one text block that will change corresponding to our movement input or our desired movement input right or our desired gate so it's much simpler that way much cleaner and also you know i kind of forgot to mention that in a couple videos but that's why i want to mention it now because that's one of the things that we will be updating in the next video as well so like I said, guys, if y'all did enjoy this, please join me on the next video where we then go over updating our movement functionality. So other than that, everybody, thank you all for joining and y'all take care. Bye.